In this video, I'm going to do a top-down analysis of the price action for the micro NASDAQ for Thursday, August 17th, 2023, starting from the uh, monthly chart. So we can see that on the monthly chart, the NASDAQ has now re-delivered a monthly buy-side imbalance sell-side inefficiency that June formed with uh, July. Or sorry, yeah, May, May formed with July. So you can see this monthly buy-side imbalance sell-side inefficiency that the NASDAQ has come in. Let me just make sure I'm right. 745, that low is 743, spot 25. So we can see that we were drawing on the monthly time frame here in August, we were drawing into this monthly buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, and we just um, we just delivered that. So I'm actually going to put that on my chart. We just re-delivered that. Okay. So starting on the monthly chart, we see that the NASDAQ has re-delivered a monthly buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. Moving down to the weekly chart, we can see now that the weekly candle is down a total of 591 points, uh, but definitely not in a smooth manner. Um, we've just delivered, we have just re-delivered a um, Series of lows, so we've delivered sell side liquidity, delivered under this order block here. Okay, let's move down to the daily chart. You can see that Thursday's candle was a power of three, so we had a manipulation higher and then we traded lower. Uh, we traded below these, uh, reg these uh, equal lows over here. We also traded below this old buy side amount, sell side inefficiency, so uh, even though that was already re-delivered and rebalanced, we, we traded below that, and we traded below the consequent encouragement of this week. Okay. Let's move down to the four-hour chart. On the four-hour chart, you can see that we've had one, two, three, four, five. S sorry, I'm on the regular trading hours, but get on the electronic. For our chart, we can see that we had three hours of straight down movement, although it was a very disgusting move down, not a very clean move down. Um, we had three large black candles here that uh, perfectly re-delivered us onto that monthly buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency within two points. So pretty, pretty crazy accurate actually uh, when you get up there on the monthly chart. Um, all right, so let's move down to the one hour chart. We can see that at the start of the day, we had a movement higher into this one hour sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency here, traded up to the consequent encroachment of this hourly wick up into this uh, bear shorter block. So this green candle here where my cursor is, traded into that, and then price came down, initially took out sell side liquidity, traded back up into the opening range gap, but also this sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency about 25% of the way in, and then we we dumped in the PM session hard. Let's move down to the regular trading hours and let's get down to the 10 minute chart. And then let's mark out the session times. Okay, so let's start with the open. Let's start with the AM session. So the AM session started with an ICT Judah swing higher in uh, an institutional order flow entry drill into a sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency. We then proceeded to grind our way lower into the, uh, in the AM session. Now let's get into the lunch session from 1200 to 1330. So the lunch session was a run on stop. So you can see that we ran above some short term uh, ran above some short term buy side liquidity. Also if you play your opening range gaps there it is right there. There was your op opening range gap. I don't use that model, but you, if you do use that model, there there it was. You can see uh, right there. We re-delivered that and then we rebalanced it. And then the PM session just sold off hard into our uh, one month fair value gap high. Take a look at our electronic trading hours and you can see that at the very close of the futures trading, we, we re-deliver that one month uh, fair value gap. 
Okay, uh, let's take a look at the dollar index. So the dollar index here on the weekly chart, you can, we can see that we're re-delivering into some, the consequent encroachment of these wicks here, re-delivering into an old sell set imbalance, buy set inefficiency, trading back into that, just traded above some buy side liquidity. Let's move to the daily chart. You can see that the daily chart took out short-term buy side liquidity and traded into a bearish shorter block. Um, Okay, and then let's go down the four hour chart. So you can see that the four hour chart on the dollar index has now traded back into an old four hour uh, fair value gap. Okay, so we took out the high of that old four hour fair value gap in a very sort of um, choppy and high resistance way, but, but that's what we did. Um, and we're coming into an old sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency that could end up uh, you know, resisting price and taking us back lower on the dollar index. Um, so, looking for Friday's trading, I do expect a green candle on the NASDAQ. <clears throat> this would be a, a very good time for, thank God it's Friday. So, on the NASDAQ tomorrow, I'm expecting us to trade higher. I'm expecting us to trade to 14861 up to 14920 uh, which is the thank God it's Friday model. Um, this would be kind of the perfect week for the NASDAQ to to employ that model. Uh, we did just re-deliver into a one month fair value gap. However, that being said, you know, if, if, if the thank God it's Friday model does not pan out, then we could trade all the way down into the midway point of this monthly fair value gap, which would be the consequent encroachment of this black candle's wick somewhere around 14,604, 14,600. I think it's more likely that the looking at Friday's trading, we're probably looking at a green candle, probably looking at about a 20% move higher. Overnight trading, we might get some more down movement, but I do expect the regular trading hours to come in and close us, close us on the week, 20 to 30% of the weekly range, which is the thank God it's Friday model. So that's what I'm looking, looking out for there. Uh, guys, I don't usually go up to the monthly chart. However, uh, if you felt lost today, there it was. There was that buy set imbalance, sell set inefficiency there, right there on the monthly chart. Do I oftentimes look at the monthly chart? Absolutely not. But um, in, in this instance for today's trading, that's exactly where the market took us. It took us below sell side liquidity, but it took us into a monthly, uh, monthly inefficiency. So if you were aware of that, then you, know, you, you, you had a, a pretty good idea of what price was trying to do. Now, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I ended up the day break even, up 100 fake dollars, and I think $50 on my live account. So I didn't lose money, but I didn't really make money either. This was tough. This was tough. This was a high resistance liquidity run, running on that one month fair value gap that I, I did not have marked out at the time. Just a very, uh, very high resistance P PM run session, and I did take a few losses trying to long it at the end. Um, actually got an, a, a one profitable long scalp right on the close. Um, so it was just a tough day, honestly. Um, this was the cleanest move here from the lunch session down just below those lows and then it was high resistance all the way from there. Um, price was in a hurry to re-deliver this one month fair value gap for whatever reason. It was in a hurry to do that. So the market had no interest in, in retracing even during the macro times it only did a slight retracement. So, um, you know, just this, this price action was difficult right here. That was very difficult price action. This move down was very difficult. The only real clean move, we had, we had a couple clean moves in the overnight session. That was a clean move higher. A, f a fairly clean move lower, fairly clean move higher. Lunch session coming into the PM session, that was clean enough. Um, but man, that PM session run lower was no fun. Um, and I did not know what price was reaching for until I looked after the market and I went up to the monthly chart. So that is what the market was reaching for, was reaching to uh, trade into this one month uh, inefficiency. As you can see here, I mean, the futures market 20 minutes after the futures close, uh, sorry, after the New York Stock Exchange closed, you can see right there, right? You, we're, getting a, we're getting a reaction off that now. So that is what the market was reaching for. And man, man, was it doing it in a very high resistance way. So difficult day, break even day. But there was your analysis of Thursday, August 17th, 2023. My call for Friday is that we get a 20 to 30% weekly range retracement. So I think green candle Friday.
，拜拜。